What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Ode to Heroes, and today we're going to be doing some leveling up. So, we've been, been kind of stuck as far as campaign and tower goes, even with my auto clickers and everything, it's taken a long time to try to get through them. But, you'll notice there's a lot more food here now, and you know, <laughs> you know what we're going to do? It is time to take our old man here with the beard and promote him up. So, let me unlock his copies, because yes, we're going to be using all three of them, I believe. I did some fusions. I did some stuff. Actually, you know what? Let's let's just buy some extra gold. Why not? We're gonna need this gold. I know. I know it's probably not a great deal, but it's needed. So let's jump into it. Let's get going. Let's get all these copies in here. So we do have a nine star, which we gotta make sure we don't touch the light one. That would be really bad because we're gonna need that in a minute. So we're using the level one at nine star right there. Hopefully, we have enough of the purple goo. I have not been buying it lately. I think we'll be good though. Get another copy there. This one, we need the light faction one. So we do have that created. We just barely had what we needed to make that one up. E2, there we go. And then lastly, we are going to have the 10 star we made for E3. Well, all right, there we go. That was nice and easy. Now the progress is gonna get really slow. Um, we are out of copies now as well, I believe. I'm pretty sure we are out of copies. We're going to build him a little bit more offensive, I think, but keep overhaul. I think that's a good move here. Well, yeah, so we're out of copies for now. So we'll either have to use relics down the road or something else because I don't want to do more than a, two loops in recruitment just because, of course, you only get the pity timer for the second 200. The actual event itself, you only get it for the first loop. That's why we got one less copy than I was originally expecting. But hey, is, is what it is. So now, time to upgrade. How high can we get him? Probably not very. I think spirit is going to be the huge limiting factor here. Oh my goodness, it takes so much spirit. Well, okay then. Um... Yeah, we did get another uh, Divine Melody here. So we got Attack and Accuracy. I figured that'll be good on him. Uh, we don't have the best artifact. Uh, you know what? We can't upgrade it either. Man, so many limited situations here. What does it cost to upgrade? Another 3,000. Can we just buy some of that? What can we buy here? Not quite enough. So we won't even worry about it. We won't. We'll re-roll it. Eh, we could just leave it. That's not good, though. Precision ability damage. Mm. Mm -mm. Let's do a couple re-rolls. See if we can just find something better. Crit, crit damage. Not bad. It's better. Let me do one more re-roll. Let me see what we get. Accuracy attack. Mm, I want something attack, attack. There we go. That's what I want to see. I wanted to see a percent attack something. That works for now. Attack, attack, accuracy, attack, accuracy. I'm good with that. Again, we'll have to just keep saving up. Every day we're going to have to buy all those gold offers and slowly level him up to, I think, 290. So we need 24 more levels. It's going to be a lot of resources. But now that that's done, we're going to try a couple things. Number one, let me uh, quick unequip and quick equip right here. So, we don't really have any other heroes to use, but we might as well see if he can clear anything else. We're up to eight already. I'm thinking this will help advance him quite a bit. We'll just throw some food heroes in. We'll put him in the back. We won't skip, we're gonna watch it. This is where we were previously stuck when he was at 10 star. Let's see what he can do. Ooh, that's some good damage. And he's pretty tanky because, of course, he's going to get shields based on uh, based on the allies that die, which, of course, it's not going to be a ton that it shields for, but it should be enough. I think we're going to be able to clear a few of these, actually. Not too bad. Those are really good. Give me more four stars. More four stars means more food. Can we get 10 so we can actually get the checkpoint and give everybody on the server extra rewards? That would be a nice... 
Uh, that's a little less damage there. I don't know if we're going to be able to get 10 done. That might be pushing it a little. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Oh, man. I feel like he really needs E5 for the heal. Really needs E5 for the heal because right now he's struggling. Oh, he's still alive somehow. But, yeah, I was like, I think he's going to die overall. Man, maybe, maybe we build him a little tankier. Or maybe, you know what? Instead of Purify, which I always forget the name of it in this game. Uh, no, what I want. I want ability. Let's change that maybe to Endless Life so we get more healing. No, we go like for a healing style build maybe. And just swap. I mean, we got HP there too. That let's just see if it works out. Maybe, maybe giving him a little bit more health is gonna help us out. All right, let's jump back in. Might be a mistake, but it might give us the survivability we need if we're getting some overkill damage with his active ability. No, not really. That really lowers his damage. Let's see how this works out, especially since there is a stun. Let's see how he maintains. It's not a ton of healing. I don't think that's the way to go with him. I think you definitely need to build him attack. Yeah, that, that, that didn't look good. That doesn't seem like a game plan. Although, there's something else we could try too. Maybe build him literally. <laughs> I think this is a horrible idea. I honestly think this is a horrible idea. You know what we could do? Oh, geez, this is probably a really bad idea. This is probably really bad. <laughs> oh, God, what am I doing? What am I doing? That should give us the double HP. Oh, my God, we're just giving them full HP enables. <laughs> there is no way this is the way it works. We need to just go full out offensive and hopefully he can kill targets because this does not look like the solution here. It just depends. I mean, if he has some insane healing, maybe it works. But, I mean, they have healing too, and that's some big damage. I feel like you just have to burst the other team down before he gets burst down. Because, yes, he will heal for quite a bit, but 15% health isn't going to be enough to keep up with these actives, I don't think. Say that. Yeah, it's not quite enough. Not at E3. Maybe if he was higher. Let's ignore the stupidity that was what we just did. Completely, completely ignore it. We'll do a quick equip. We'll go back to ability. And we will go offensive. Now here's something. We could try just using the heal. No. I mean, we could get more attack if we really want to go crazy all out and just hope we don't get stunned or CC'd or any of that. That is another potential we can try here. Let us see. Okay, let's give it a go. You know, I'm just thinking here. We just put a lot of those marks on our hero. Is it better to just not use any other heroes on our team? Then again, that would mean he takes more hits. I don't know about that. Yeah, I, I don't think 10's going to quite get done. <sighs> it doesn't seem like it. Let's just change one thing back to where I want it to be, and that is back over to overhaul. Give one last shot, and then we will try some tower where we were stuck as well. Maybe his increased damage, shielding, all that stuff will help us out. Yeah, see, those attacks right there, it puts more of those crit marks on him. But it doesn't seem to do too much damage, really. Man, that hit is so hard. Yeah, there's no way we can do this. There's no way. <laughs> Absolutely no way, especially when he pops right back up. Yep, nope. Yep, nope. That's a yep, nope. Let's not even consider trying to push that any further. So, it's better. It's definitely better. Nowhere near as good. Get our heroes geared back up the way I want them. 
Uh, we got two of these damage reduction artifacts now, which is pretty convenient. Uh, I'm almost wondering if I should do split gear setups here to give them more HP or not. I don't know. Probably should. For the, for the time being, we'll hold off. All right, so I like the setup. We got our pet going. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can get it. Hopefully, with Jay-Z doing a little bit more damage here, it'll help pay some dividends. He didn't stun anyone. I mean, that's he doesn't do a ton of damage to waves like this like Lee Wong does. But if he's staying alive, that's going to help a lot. Two actives coming from our team. Maybe we can pick them off. Okay, that helps. Picking off the low-level targets that Lee Wong suffers to like really struggles to kill off sometimes. Um, we didn't get any stuns there. So I feel like that could have gone better. Maybe we should put our stunners in the front row. That way our cow cows, as I like to say, guarantee their actives to CC. Come on, right here. Tons of CC. Not really. <laughs> Not quite what I wanted to see, but... Okay, okay, it's going. Oh man, that big active. Ooh, can we get to an active? No, we can't. Maybe I should put Li Guang in the very back side there. Let's try something a little different here. Let's move some heroes around, see if it helps the combat at all. We can high roll some good CC. That would be perfect. Right here. We need to petrify that whole back line. We can do it. Come on. Nope. Are they CC immune? I bet they are, or something like that. I bet that's what it is. So let's see if him tanking some hits does anything for us. Not really. It feels actually worse what we just did. Because at least before, we're feeding some energy to our heroes after they use their actives. So I do... I do actually like having the suns in the back. Let's do this way again. Because that way they're feeding energy potentially to one of the other two remaining heroes. We got a stun there. Not amazing, but not horrible. But again, we had a stun here as well. We didn't feed any energy. I don't think this is going to be a good run. But you never know. You could high roll something. All right. At least we get two actives off here. Back down to just that Li Guang. We get the Phoenix active to get a little bit of a heal. I'm trying to decide if I should change the pet. Change to the one that has the big burst heal. Um, or the other one that stuns. I don't know. I know the Phoenix, at least in Idle Heroes, is like the best overall well-rounded pet to have early game. Especially for pushing PvE damage. Um, but I'm wondering if we should go with something else. It synergizes well with Li Guang. I just can't decide. Yeah, we just fed energy to the wrong targets there. That feels really bad. <laughs> really, really bad. Did not work the way we wanted it to. This is a really difficult wave right now. Yeah, that's too many actives coming in. We're going to completely melt. All right, what do we have? A couple more tries left. We've got five more. Let's give it a few more just to see if this improved. That main right there is going to help us out. We need the Suns not to get stunned. Uh, one of them got stunned. That's really, really not good. But that was one of the best survivability rounds we've had. Wow, a Sun actually almost survived. And we took one of them out first round here. Not bad. Or round two, I should say. Round three, finish him off. Okay. You're going to go down. I just don't see it happen. Look at all those actives coming in. Just completely, completely wrecking us. I wish we had some energy artifacts so we could like alternate the rounds that all of our CC goes out so we could stretch it over like three different rounds. Like if we get a round one CC and then like round two, round three, round four, that would be perfect to just like lock them all down. We actually got a stun on him for once. That's crazy. Both of our sons are CC'd, huh? Not good for us. Oh, this is really bad. This is really bad. 
Ah, we killed two targets, but oh my god, those crit marks just wrecking us. All right, let's just do like one more. I don't want to kill, try to go all out on this. I mean, they do have that 25% control resistance, which is why our lineup's not doing what it normally does, which is CCing the entire team. I say that, but there's three stuns right there. Okay. There's potential here. We already knocked him down in round three. We have pretty full healthy people here. Two actives coming as well. Oh no, we just hit the wrong targets though. That feels so bad. I don't think we live. Do we live? We do. So that means we're going to kill another target and heal. Oh, so close. So close. Oh, man. All right. What we're going to do is just run two more skips in here. Maybe we get lucky. Maybe we high roll. Maybe. Nope. Definitely not. Let's try one campaign fight as well, just to see how this is going to go with the new hero setup. Um, yeah, we'll keep it as is. We will not skip. Very similar heroes we're stuck on, huh? <laughs> ooh, ooh, that takes a lot of damage there. So nobody hits back line. Which is good in a way because we can feed more energy. But again, you have to high roll and hit the right targets if you're going to do that. I was close to being really good. I could see this working out. I do think, though, instead of going for the energy in round two, we're going to put them both in the front to hopefully get the whole team CC'd. And then in round two, we can come in with our cow cows and just uh, CC everything. Ooh, wow, they take a lot of damage. We did get a couple stuns. We're going to get some petrifies, hopefully. No petrify. All right. Well, that kind of does make it nicer. It feels better getting the armor in the second round here. We got two actives, which is going to be really good for us. This man right here scares me. Oh, that was so much damage. Oh, wow. We lived another round. That's crazy. Oh, we got an active for a heal, though. No, it's just not enough. I think if I do this enough times now, we should finally unlock it. So I think we're in a good spot. Of course, as we level him up, he's going to get stronger, too. And we're going to be able to progress. So that's not too bad. Um, we got two stuns there. We killed a target. We got two petrifies. Three petrifies, technically. This is really good. Wow. We still have heroes alive to be meat shields for us. Oh, he did go down, though. That was early. He did take a lot of the burst down, though. We can get to another active. Oh, my goodness. What just happened there? Who did that? What? I, this can work. This, If we just high roll the CC, we can definitely get this to work. And that's what Sun and Cow, like, it's just what makes this team work so good. For just trying to burst through all these waves with random CC. Okay, that was horrible. We didn't CC a single target. Let's do one last fight. Just one more. Just one more and see if we can get it done. All right, let's see how the stuns work. Oh. You know, the slot one is getting like taken out immediately. That was some decent stuns there, and that was a decent petrify right there too. If only we could take that girl out, that healing. Okay, we got one of them down, two of them down. Oh, if only we could get a round four Petrify. That would have been absolutely huge. Yeah, this is way too late. It can work. Let's just try one thing, though. <laughs> Again, one more. Let's try swapping those two out and see what happens by staggering them. So we get the stun off still. And we get an active from her. Oh, she didn't feed energy to anyone important, though. That could that, that, that actually might work better, though. We get two actives here. Wish we could have killed him right there. So close. Come on, right here. Just take him out. Yes. Okay. Is there a chance? Is there a chance? Maybe. Maybe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, not horrible. Not horrible. Big active. Come on, come on. 
Yes! We beat it, finally. Yes, okay, I'm good. That's the end right there. I'm gonna smash the rest of these levels because I love my new hero. He is amazing. He's not even maxed out. He's still got this four-star gear. We'll keep on pushing. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'm definitely enjoying this hero. Maybe we should build multiple of him or should we, you know, that the, uh, the other thing to consider is when we're done with him, when we're done with him, do we move over to, of course, like the God of the game? Gao, just, I mean, probably should. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the game, the series, the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.